Michael Vick spent the day just outside of Atlanta, the place he called home for six years. The Eagles quarterback headlined a sports memorabilia show, signing autographs. Now, a co-sponsor of the event said Vick probably wouldn't have been well-received in Atlanta even a year ago, but now, quote, things have changed. George Smith was there. Michael Vick! At an autograph show just outside of Atlanta, it was hard to find any Michael Vick detractors among the 200 fans. And for some of his biggest fans, just seeing him was overwhelming. I pray for that boy so much. <laughs> I'm just so glad that he got a second time out of life. In one of his first public appearances in Atlanta off of the football field, fans paid up to $119 for Vic's autograph. He signed, greeted fans, and posed for pictures. I understand he did wrong about the dogs and everything, but there are people out here killing people, raping kids and everything else, and they're getting less of sentences and less publicity than he is. I think everybody should just let it go, let him play, and let him live his life. Being a dog lover, you know, I wasn't too, was too happy about it, you know, stuff like that. And I think he uh, admitted that he made a mistake and stuff like that, and uh, hopefully he's, uh, you know, gone the other way. Vic declined all interview requests. He spent about an hour here. The crowd was orderly. There were no problems and no protests. In Norcross, Georgia, George Smith, ESPN.